before I start this video, I just want to say a couple of different things. Is this very practical? Not really, maybe, but not really. Is this worth investing in? Maybe not really. Should you follow this without your parents' supervision? Nah, but is it really fun? Yes, very fun and very satisfying. Just want to say that. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Sean B and today we're playing with Tattoo. I first played with her eight months ago in this same exact account. The account belongs to Ali and big shout out to him and his girlfriend and his girl Flash Grenade. Yo, all members can have a chance to win a transmog bundle sponsored by Leader. Yo, yo, recruiting or something? I mean, it's 28 out of 30. You can fit one Asian boy in, right? I mean, I'm kind of half Philippines, you know what I'm saying? I know some words. I play Dota, I play League of Legends. You know, Puta. Anyway, back to Tattoo. She was buffed in the previous patch. Incinerate is now an AoE skill. As predicted by some of our viewers in the comment section eight months ago. So maybe you want to leave a comment right now to predict the next balance patch. It might happen. They read the comment section. Instead of having Rika, the mainstream beta choice for Tattoo, we are playing with Asima. Are you guys ready? One of the best way to use continuous damage is in TOA hard. And we are doing exactly that. Incinerate, baby. Ah, oh, that slow burn, man. That slow burn was satisfying. Even though it's not going to kill everything from 100 to 0 because you have resistant accuracy and all that good jazz but gosh that was beautiful i don't know if anything is more satisfying than this i wonder if there's any practical use for this i don't really know but i don't think i need to know <laughs> to just burn all these crystal to zero boom like look at the number just <laughs> One of the thing about doing TOA hard with auto team is that you will probably somehow stun the entire enemy team which should be your TOA hard team and then you put dots on them and then you wait for the dots to take into effect but sometimes you also bring unit that provide attack by reduction like the the water homunculus so his skill 2 will absorb the enemy attack bar right and it takes quite a while for them to just detonate. So with your girl tattoo incinerate, the entire TOA hard process might be a little bit faster on auto. Maybe, maybe I I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's gonna help out some people out there to do their TOA hard run faster. But because if you put slow debuff and then you put a stun on top, it's gonna take a while for the dots to, to just detonate. But with tattoo, it might be just a little bit faster if that is something you are concerned about the cooldown for a skill 3 is 3 turn which means if you blow up the dots in the first round but you don't kill potentially Tatsu can take another turn and that would allow her to refresh her skill 3 cool time and right now you can just blow everything and then they're all gonna die another round of AoE damage from a Sigmaris can probably just destroy everything so if you are concerned about your TOA hard auto tam with a strong heavy dart team, you can potentially make a tattoo, I guess. She brings darts on her own as well, which is a very nice addition to the unit. We did this thing once in the past, but I'm here to do it again today because looking at the dragon just completely destroy in one turn is very satisfying. So, we do have a lot of dots, but I don't think we can one-shot a dragon. We can potentially one-shot a side tower, though. So, ah. 
once again this is not very practical for any purpose or reason but it is really fun was that was that fun to you if that was fun leave a like okay because seeing a dragon melt and everything everything melted was good is this team very good not really is it very practical not really is it very farmable not really is it a counter to anything in particular maybe miho maybe julianne i don't know but is it fun to look at that moment that just happened yeah it's kind of is it's kind of is so if you have some heavy dot unit like rika like a sima I, I know you don't have one you can definitely build up a tattoo and just have some fun giggle moment in the office in the classroom i don't know but that was very satisfying to see everything just incinerated this one might be a decent example we're gonna go to, with the turn we're gonna put some dots on we're gonna put some more dots on okay please don't kill garo good and now we're gonna incinerate so we go through triana and garo passive in an instant watched boom everything just gone like i don't know what you gonna feel okay i can't control that but what i'm feeling right now is just pure joy <laughs> and sometimes you need that in summoners or this game is old okay to see some mechanic like this work beautifully like this is just extremely satisfying we thought they would never make this girl aoe because that would be so fun and they did and they actually did okay the juno is probably moving probably moving probably not but we can just go if you build damage for tattoo then she can kill these even easier okay instant counter to to the dark thing okay the dark thing would die without reflecting way too much damage now that is what i call satisfying oh wait dots can really kill Laika as well right I think dots can kill Laika pretty, pretty well. Put more dots. Okay, put more dots. Feeling good, feeling good. And now... Ah, the feeling, man. When when the number appear, one after another, one after another. Oh, how fast and Miho. Okay, this is way too good. This is way too good. Can the dots burn through how fast? I gotta see this. I have to see this. It's gonna hit into my Tiana, which does pretty much nothing. We're gonna strip all of that. Okay. All my dots would not be able to kill the the how fast. Yeah, he's not low enough. He's definitely not low enough. Oh oh oh. Uh oh, that's not good. More dots. Okay. This can I kill it? I'm not too sure, but let's go. Oh, when the dots go down. It will hit a point where the how fast will gain the shield so she is not a good how fast killer it's definitely a good miho killer but she's not made for how fast man what a pity i really wish she could just you know destroy how fast easily but oh this guy didn't heal enough okay but I'm, I'm still dying though i am still dying defense break can I blow that up? Does that make a difference? Boom. <laughs> not really. Not really, but he's not winning me anyway. Man, it's not it's not a how fast killer. Okay, can I survive this? Oh no. Oh, he's not doing the thing. He is not doing the thing. So we put dots. And in guild battle, you have three units, right? So you have a unit to put dots. Tattoo to blow it up, maybe Galleon to put attack buff and defense break. That way, Tattoo damage will be much more and then the blow up damage will just kill everything. Or maybe you're going to put in some protection because you're probably going to need that with two unit being sort of DPS-ish. So the last unit might be just a simple support unit. It can be anything. Fran, Wusa what damn you know bastard anything and you wouldn't just simply not have enough dots if you don't have rika i don't think tattoo is going to be practical in pvp at all 
but she's definitely okay for like pve purposes and probably gonna be toa like, look at that i'm having so much dot can i blow them all up can i blow that thing up boom <laughs> overall you're probably gonna go back here you're probably gonna do this to just have some fun because looking at all these just blowing up in one turn like look at that that is just so satisfying all right guys that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it that was really really fun just to see that happen in front of your face is it very practical for anything at all in the game probably toa and that's about it because in rta or guild battle or arena i think bomb is still so much better okay if she's stunned when she blow up the dots then might be better for pvp but now not really leave a like if you enjoy leave a comment down below what you think about tattoo and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>